I'm a crypto noob, going to invest in some Bitcoin. What the? Oh, I almost invested. Oh, close one. What's that? Lol. Wait, didn't I mine back in the day? What now? You know, Mr. Daisy didn't drive, that's why it's called driving. Idiots. Again? Yeah, they're, they're, yeah, they are Zimbabwe dollars, but, uh, Still technically a billionaire. Damn. This would never have happened to Fiat. So this weekend, we had a dip, and then we recovered. And correlation doesn't always imply causation, but during the same time period, Tether printed 250 million new Tether tokens. And it is estimated that these tokens, by and large, recovered the markets, even as Close to a few minutes after the printing of these tokens, it is estimated that Bitcoin and Ethereum began to recover by over 1%. And then shortly afterwards, this kind of spike, this is about a $250 spike for the valuation of Bitcoin, was soon afterwards. Coincidence? Many think not. Some suggest that Tether has been using their token as a way to manipulate the price of cryptocurrencies. Unfounded accusations, how dare you? So the article does mention that there are some competitors coming to Tether, like TrueUSD and a stable coin made by the Circle Investment Group. I'd prefer to see a completely decentralized coin, something like Make or Die, but it entirely depends on what exchanges are willing to support because that's where people need to be able to access these for them to be successful. And here's where I feel like that's not gonna happen, potentially. So I imagine that bribes are somewhat common in the cryptocurrency landscape. If you are an exchange and You've got the option of listing a few different stable coins, but one of them is offering you $10 million to make sure they're the only one you list. Kind of seems like a, a no-brainer, but again, completely unfounded accusations, how dare you? And the reason I'm going on about it, even though Tether is now, well, it's only a $2.5 billion market cap, all of which is held in a bank account that is secure, that is accessible, and that is completely liquid. Um, even if that's the case, um, 2.5 billion. Because Tether can be used on margin, it's estimated that what it accounts for in the total market cap for all of cryptocurrency is a lot higher than 2.5 billion. It is estimated to be, and this is the worst case scenario, as high as 75% of the total market cap, which is pretty scary. Let's move on to something else, shall we? Been talking about this for a while. The Tron mainnet is upcoming, launches in 10 days, May 31st. Seems like the market is actually paying attention to that now. We had a 10% boost today. This also comes amid uh, news that the founder of the Tron Foundation, Justin Sun, said that there will be a big announcement before the mainnet launch. What that is, is anyone's guess. If it's actually going to be that big, is also anyone's guess. I guess not. Maybe. Bitcoin gold. Do you remember me talking about what happened with Monocoin recently? The exact same things seem to be happening to Bitcoin gold. Uh, someone with large amount of hash power using 51% attacks to perform double spends of Bitcoin gold. Um, the risks to normal uh, people using Bitcoin, uh, using Bitcoin gold don't seem to be that impacted. But if you are an exchange, obviously it's a big deal. Um, it appears that most exchanges have deterred the attacker, at least for now. So, but what did the news do to Monocoin anyway? Those were unfounded reports. But there were multiple reports, didn't seem to actually do much. Uh, Ledger just announced today what new coins they are going to support on their devices. They are nebulous. And I'm not sure if this news is actually going to cause a pump for any of these, but you know, being listed or being supported by Ledger is a, it's a pretty big deal. Waves. Not good so far. POA Network. The news did announce today, so. Blocknet, P 
Peer coin. And lastly, Tezos, which is still in pre-launch. Be interested to see what Tezos can do. Obviously, they raised a ton of money during their ICO, and uh, they are coming to the markets. All right, that's it for me today. Let's get a tree in today's episode. There we go. And I will see you tomorrow.